745 and it is Fit Factor time this morning with Jerry Greenspan from Columbus Fitness Consultants. We're catching him at his Upper Arlington showroom this morning. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. So you are going to be answering some viewer questions this morning. We uh, put this on Facebook, what people wanted to know about working out, getting healthy. The first question is from Katrina who asks a really good question. When is the best time to work out? Well, obviously, you know, there is really no best time. I, I think if you could do it in the morning, do it, do it in the morning because the, sorry about that, my piece popped out. That's okay. Uh, do it in the morning if so you can. So you're saying do it in the morning? If you can, because nothing else will get in the way. So if you can do it in the morning, do it in the morning, because that's optimal, because other things come up as the day goes on. Um, I just think it's, it, it, it allows for less interference. You just don't have other things popping up to get, get, get in the way. Optimally, if you just talk about physiologically, it's between two and four in the afternoon. But for most people, that's really undoable. And at night, most people are too tired, unless they're going to see somebody like a trainer who's gonna motivate them to work out after work. All right, the next is from Myron. What should you eat to get the maximum proteins? We always are being told that protein is really important. Is it something we should be eating or drinking like those protein shakes? Well, I really don't recommend people drink protein. It, liquid calories, your body doesn't recognize them. So the problem is if your calorie requirement is 2,000 calories for the day and you drink like a 500 calorie shake that's a protein shake, your body doesn't recognize most of those calories. So then you're still thinking, I need 2,000 calories. There are a lot of really good inexpensive protein forms. Really the best form of protein, what we call the optimal protein, is egg whites. Not even eggs, but egg whites are the optimal form of protein. So the nice thing is you can eat egg whites or egg beaters, and you're really getting the proteins in the amino acid form that's closest to your body. So there's quality of protein, not just quantity, but people think, you know, I'm, you know, this is great protein, but what is the quality of the protein and what form is it in? So we'd like it in a solid form, and we'd like it to be as close as to how the amino acids are in our body, and egg whites are actually the best protein. All right, so here's our last question, Jerry. It's from Melody. She's sure. asking, is sure. there a vitamin that boosts endorphins that actually help with motivation without feeling jittery like caffeine or speed drink? So is there like a, a vitamin form of motivation? You know, I, we, we wish there was. I think you, you have to have enough of your B vitamins. I mean, all your vitamins are important, but B vitamins are involved in a lot of energy cycles. The thing is, if you have enough of them, having more of them, it's like filling up a glass with water. If the, the glass is already full, it's full. So taking more isn't helpful. Actually, taking more can be bad. There's toxicities, even of water-soluble vitamins. So yeah, they sell a lot of B complex vitamins, and you want to make sure you can get that from a multivitamin. But having more isn't necessarily better, as long as you have what you need of B vitamins, you'll be fine, but there's no little secret mix that you're going to take that is going to pop you with energy. Um, I just tell people if they eat regularly throughout the day, that's going to help keep their energy high. If, if they just have the you know, five small meals throughout the day, that's going to be the best way to keep their energy up. All right, so no magic pill. All right, thanks so much, Jerry. For weekly no Fit Factor tips, and we all need them, and to see Jerry's workout segments, go to myfox28columbus.com, click on Fit Factor.